I'd like to bring this town council meeting to order. And I want to remind everyone that even though we're convening outdoors today, we will conduct ourselves with the same professionalism of a city hall meeting. Now, <clears throat> first order of business, pass the coleslaw. Mayor Rosenbaum, we're under attack. We're under attack. Who? Who's attacking? Hayfits and Japanese beetles. They've overrun my garden. It's only a matter of time before this whole town is under siege. Uh, uh, well, uh, we'll be getting around to the matter of the bug invasion in due time, Mrs. Bryerson. Uh, <laughs> thanks for dropping by. Oh, hey, Finch. <laughs> bug invasion. <gasps> to present our special guest, Herb Crofton. Yay! Class! <clears throat> Herb is an entomologist. Does anyone know what that means? Mona? Knower of all things creepy, slimy, and squirmy. Your basic bug guy. Very good. This week, Herb's traveling exotic insect collection is being featured at the Insectodome. Please welcome him. Yay! <laughs> Hello, kids. Meet a friend of mine, the giant aceton beetle from South America. Wow! Look at he it. cleans up the leaf mold from forest floors. This beauty is a giant Amazon dragonfly. Neat. And this is my favorite. She's tiny, but has loads of character. Say hello to Wilma the centipede. Neat. Huh? Lily, what's wrong? I, I hate bugs. They creep me out. Don't be silly. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're a trillion times bigger than they are. Would anyone like to come up and take a look? Ooh, watch. I'll prove it. <gasps> These critters are harmless. Ah! It's okay. Ah! <laughs> antennae up close. Herb Crofton is really a highly evolved insect in disguise. We have to find out what he's up to. And stop him. But what do we know about giant insects? We specialize in aliens and poltergeezers. Yeah, well, I was kind of hoping you guys would help, but if I have to solve this case alone... Don't worry, Mona. You can count on me. <sighs> me too. Owing to the late summer weather, larvae breeding patterns have been accelerated. Ah! Resulting in dead swarms. Hey, Bob! Nick, I'm all wet! There are bugs everywhere! Something really weird is going on. Buggy friend Herb must be leading some sort of insect invasion. But we'll stop him. He's no match for Mona the Vampire, Zatman, and Princess. Hey, Lily, where's your Princess Giant costume? Oh, um, it's at the cleaners. Really? We have to find Herb Crofton. But where would a giant bug <laughs> hang out? Giant bugs have to eat every couple of hours to keep their strength up. So, if you were a big hungry bug, where would you go? He must be here somewhere. Attention all shoppers! Please report any sightings of a giant five and a half foot insect immediately to front <laughs> cash. Thanks for shopping at Gold's Grocery. We've checked every grocery store in town. All the searching has made me hungry. Let's stop for pizza. <gasps> It's him! <gasps> He's on to 
us being on to him. Ah! <gasps> what are they doing? I knew it. He is responsible for the bug invasion. Good work. Break for lunch, and then we'll get to the other side of town. Peanut butter and larvae. My favorite. Of course. They're just worker drones. I bet they were perfectly normal human beings until he transformed them. Hey, kid. Ah! Your class is coming to visit me at the Insectodome tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> Miss Gardo. You have to cancel tomorrow's trip. I'm afraid that won't be possible. I promised Mr. Crofton we'd go. Oh, Herb is such a unique man. <laughs> I bet he's concocting some evil plan to turn us all into worker drones. Flypaper, ant traps, roach spray, and of course, Mosquito repellent. I went home and got my Zapparama shrieking ray gun. <sighs> you never know when you might need to shrink a giant humanoid insect down to size. It's bug stomping time. I can't go. I'm too scared of little bugs. There's no way I can fight giant ones. <clears throat> That's okay, Lily. You can sit this one out. Yeah, and if we don't make it back, you can tell the world our story. <laughs> Look, there he is. And he's with the mayor. Well, everything's going according to plan. Good, good, that's wonderful. He's hypnotized the mayor. Well, let's hurry. You must address the town council at once. Oops. <gasps> so, we meet again. Yes, we do, Bugman. And we're gonna blow your whole creepy operation. Take that! Okay, then how about some of this? Delicious! Stand back! How do you like that? Yeah, too floral. You know, you two would make excellent specimens for my collection. I can do this. I got you for Mona and Zapman. I can't desert them. And Mono is right. Bug or no bug, he's no match for Princess Giant! Use your shrinking ray gun, Zatman! Nice work, Zatman. I think he thinks we're dinner! <laughs> who travel the globe resolving insecto-human conflicts. But what about Miss Gatto? Oh, I never meant any harm. I just wanted to settle down, lead a normal life, have a girlfriend. Do you know how hard it is to attract girls looking like this? You have a point. I guess giant bugs get lonely, too. Wait, I have an idea. Wilma. Oh, I never realized how beautiful you are. Your feet. Your lovely brown skin. 
Wait, what about Miss Gatto? We can't have a bug for a teacher. Don't worry. Metamorphosis wears off after an hour or so. Tell her I said goodbye. Has anyone seen Herb Crofton? I'm, um, wanted to ask him some questions about his project. Oh, you mean his work with the Insecto Human Peacekeepers? Uh, no. I mean his introduction of ladybugs and green lacewings and other natural enemies of the insects that have infested our town. Oh, uh, well, he had to go. I think he found someone very important he had to talk to. <sighs> I see. Shabli has informed me that this year the school would like to do something a little different for our annual fundraiser. Hey, what happened to selling pens door to door? I'm the pen king. We do the door to door pen sale every year, and quite frankly, Charlie, everyone in town is sick of pens. Now, we need something more exciting, more vibrant. More vibrant than pens? Yes, Charlie, even more vibrant than pens. Now, what would you all like to do for a fundraiser this year? Any suggestions? Charlie? How about... We are not selling pencils door to door either. Oh. Anyone else? A talent show. A concert. A celebrity monster roast. <laughs> I have a reasonable suggestion, Miss Gatto. What about a fashion show? All the kids can make their own clothes and we can give out prizes. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... What a good idea, Angela. But we'll need someone to judge the event. How about famed supermodel Tiffany S. Tick? By an incredible stroke of good fortune, she's in town attending a distant relative's funeral. My, that is a stroke of luck. But are you sure we can get her? Oh, absolutely. My father's accountant golfs with her accountant's father. We're practically related. A fashion show it is. And you're in charge, Angela. And Charlie, you're responsible for the advertising. Lily, refreshments. And Mona? Save your breath. If you're gonna boss people around, I'm not gonna have anything to do with your silly fashion show. I'm not surprised. It's painfully obvious that you have no fashion sense whatsoever. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with what I wear. And even if there was, I don't care what people think. Well, I care. I want to wear something extra special for the fashion show. Something like that. Extra special? I guess that's one way of putting it. What are you doing? Sketching. I want to come up with a design that'll knock Tiffany S. Tick's socks off. It is not possible. No one is buying my beautiful, like me, line of clothes. The Maison de Mary is no longer the toast of this town's fashion community. And why? I mean, what idiot would not love to wear these clothes? Ta-da! I'm even more beautiful. I must have this outfit, Mother. But how is this possible? I cannot blame myself, for I, I am a genius. No, it must be these inadequate mannequins. <laughs> they are to blame. You, gather the mannequins. They need to be reformed. Oh, uh, yes, Monsieur Murray. This is going to be great, if you say so. <gasps> My dress! Thank goodness it's okay. I've got to be honest, Lily. I don't think that dress will ever be okay. What? Where did the mannequin go? <gasps> there! She's alive! Flesh and bones! A living mannequin! And she's going into the non-fat simulated yogurt shop! Her bad taste doesn't end at clothes. Come on! What are you doing? I gotta finish my sketch of that dress! A living mannequin is in our midst, and you're worried about your fashion show outfit? Just look at her trying to be inconspicuous. She 
doesn't want anyone to know her true identity, so she's trying to act as normal as possible. There's something weird going on here, and we're gonna find out what. I'm going to copy this dress and be the hit of the fashion show. You're right, Mona. This was a dumb idea. Come here, my beauty. The resistance is futile. <gasps> Soon, I will be the master once again. It's all becoming clear. He's creating an invincible army of living mannequins. He'll use them to take over the fashion world. Then how come he's melting them down? Those are rebel mannequins. Mannequins who refuse to do his bidding. So he's having them replaced. Then the one we saw in the yogurt shop. Obviously, she escaped his evil clutches and is now on the run. We have to help her. Mona! Help! <gasps> Hang on, Lily! the world. Murray's mannequin army will soon make its move, Fang. But when? Where? Here you go, Mona. Even if you're not going to be in the fashion show. The maze owned or Murray is sponsoring the fashion show? Charlie, do you know what this means? No. It means that's where Murray will let loose his mannequin army. We're doomed. Charlie, what would you rather do? Help with the fashion show? or do battle with the evil Murray Karpowitz. When you put it that way... Okay, everyone, clear out. Monsieur Murray has a big surprise for the fashion show, so no one, absolutely no one, is allowed to watch him unload his truck. He's making his move. Ow! I'm good. You are wacko, buddy. The world will be in awe. Now to find out what all the secrecy is about. Murray's plan. He's going to replace the entire town with living mannequins. But he's neglected to consider one important factor. Mona the Vampire. Miss Tiffany S. Tick! Thank you for agreeing to be our judge. How could I say no? Especially once I found out your father's accountant golfs with my accountant's father. We're practically related, Nancy. Uh, my name is Angela. Aha! I've found you at last! Let's move things along, dear. I have a Paris fitting in 12 hours. I'm on it! <laughs> Not so fast! Where do you think you're going? Away from you. Wait! There's something I must show you! They're my new designs. I call it the plain like you line. Indeed. It's wonderful! Just imagine yourself in something like this! <laughs> <coughs> Wrong one. Here, let me... I do not wear anything plain. No! Come back! Wait! <gasps> I am your master! 
you will obey me, I'll be destroyed. Help! Help! I want to be free! We're not gonna let you enslave that living mannequin or anyone else in this town without a fight. Gotcha! <laughs> Thank you. You saved me. Not yet. I've still got to put you back together. We're doomed. Do you mind if I borrow these? Be my guest. Yeah! Hi yeah! Hey, yeah! Let the show... Uh, let the show begin! Your best efforts, Mona. My fashion show was a success. I don't know what happened to Monsieur Murray, but he could certainly learn a thing or two about fashion from Mona. Ah! This look is so unique, so different. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friends, but at least you're free to live a normal life. Well, uh, thanks, Mona. Another job well done.